Rather, how is Estonia prepared to uh, address or is addressing the situation that's unfolding on Ukraine's borders as a result of Russian aggression that we've seen uh, for eight years now? Uh, yes, thanks for the question. Um, we are ex extremely uh, worried about the situation. It's uh, uh, the worst security situation uh, in Europe in the last 30 years. There are some analysts who say that it's uh, in the last 70 years since the Second World War. Uh, and we are extremely worried about this. Um, how this situation uh, should be tackled and is tackled is through uh, um, multinational consensus within NATO, within EU, across the ocean. We need to make sure that we stand firm. Uh, we stand for our values. We stand for freedom. We stand for democracy. Uh, and uh, we are standing this not only in our words, but also in our deeds. And I think this is um, something that is playing out quite well. Uh, we all had some level of anxiety at the beginning of December when the crisis started to unfold. Uh, but now it has been a massive group therapy among the, all the allies. And um, I think uh, the consensus is that uh, collective defense holds. We are value-based alliance and uh, we are very strong in radiating these uh, values out. The second clearly is supporting Ukraine. Uh, we have uh, spoken to them. We do it uh, daily, basically. Uh, they, you know, feel all the political support, but what they need is weapons and ammunition. Um, we have given it to them. We have uh, donated them the Javelin anti-tank missiles um, and another you know, pieces of equipment. Uh, and then the same has been done by our Baltic allies, by UK, by US and several others. Um, it's important because it uh, helps them to prepare. It uh, buys time. And it, uh, it, it has a pure deterrent value that has a, the highest conversion rate uh, for, that you can buy from every, every dollar. And uh, third avenue for us clearly is uh, answer to the question, what do we do domestically? And um, clearly the answer is that we need to do more on our own. And I think the best manifest of this is the fact that uh, three weeks ago, our government decided to make an extra 1% of GDP worth uh, injection to our um, defense budget. 1% um, of GDP, just to put it on the US uh, equivalent scale, uh, would be around 200 billion US dollars. So in our terms, it's uh, quite a lot of money. And we have already decided that every single cent of this will go into replenishing our uh, wartime ammunition stocks. So. Uh, you again, to put it very frankly and honestly, so that we would have more anti-tank missiles than Russians have tanks, that we would have more anti-armor um, ammunition than uh, Russians have trucks, and, um, and, and for the rest of the inventory. So just to make ourselves feel comfortable and uh, confident and uh, stand strong. One of the things that uh, is very important right now is that despite the diplomatic efforts that, that have been going on for the last weeks, and certainly this week, um, French President Macron was in uh, Russia talking with Russian President Vladimir Putin and then went to Ukraine and spoke with uh, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. And uh, President Macron said that he got the understanding that Russia was willing to de-escalate and willing to perhaps even take those 30,000 troops that are in Belarus back to Russia at the end of the month. Uh, Russia jumped in and said they didn't agree to do anything like that. We also know that there are some Russian warships moving into the Black Sea area. Um, what's your sense of what Russia is really going to do or planning to do or doing right now as it, really, as it relates to de-escalation of the situation from a military point of view? Mm -hmm. Well, there are no signs that there, there, are, there is any de-escalation going on. That's, that, that's clear. It's uh, quite right, the opposite. Um, Russia is acting opportunistic. He plays several cards at the same time. He has a diplomatic front open. He has military front open. 
he has hybrid fronts op open all around Europe. The, uh, the security crisis isn't the, the biggest crisis in Europe right now. It's the energy crisis that is the highest. And the uh, short shortage of uh, gas, the electricity prices, they have all spiked uh, by the factor of three or four. So this is the number one uh, crisis in uh, most, most of the Europe right now. Um, well, secondly, uh, they're also playing cards in Africa, in Mali, in Burkina Faso, and so forth. So they're creating these strategic dilemmas for each and every Western government. And uh, I guess they're just waiting for, for the hand that pays off the most. So I think there is pretty good clarity what they want to do, and they haven't really made a secret out of this. Uh, their demands, there is no ambivalence in this. They want to recreate the uh, European security architecture. Uh, and frankly speaking, it has very little to do with Ukraine. It has mainly to do with NATO. They want to push the borders back uh, as it was basically after the collapse of the Soviet Union, which is which would have a traumatic, catastrophic events for uh, for uh, Europe, um, and then particularly for Estonia and other Baltic states. And it's not only the security sort of arrangements that needs to be pushed back. It's also the prosperity, democracy, and all this that will go back with this uh, as well. So th that is something that makes it so undigestible for us. When we speak about diplomatic efforts, then, um, you know, speaking about peace um, makes it sound very noble but it also makes it sound very shallow at the same time because everyone wants peace that's clear there is no disagreement there i'm sure that russians want peace as well uh, the challenge that we have is that how the western unity and western efforts make the price for russia so high uh, that they decide not to attack what is the point where russians see that their military escalation in ukraine or some other place will lead to significantly higher cost than they could potentially win in Ukraine. That is the question. And uh, as it seems now, we haven't really reached this price point yet.